Harry bags a shock role as Meghan's secret stylist by personally helping his new royal bride pick the perfect outfits for her public engagements. Most husbands do everything they can to avoid shopping for clothes with their wives, but Prince Harry has proved a surprising exception. I'm told he's become Meghan's secret stylist, personally helping her choose outfits for her new life as a royal. Of course, unlike most men. Harry isn't being dragged around Primark on Oxford Street all day. His shopping trips with his new bride consist of having high-end designers visit them at Kensington Palace. And according to well-placed sources in the fashion industry, Harry has been keenly giving tips for her new fit for a duchess wardrobe. Meghan is always asking Harry's opinion. She really wants his views, said one source. He gives his views on what he thinks looks best rather than helping her follow royal protocol on hemlines or anything like that. The joke is that Harry is Meghan's surprise stylist. Representatives from Stella McCartney have been drafted in to design several dresses for Meghan after the elegant halter neck gown she wore by the designer for her evening wedding reception proved to be a fashion hit. Says my source, the special projects team at Stella McCartney are working on a few more outfits for Meghan and Harry always comes to design meetings and fittings to give his opinions on the looks. Harry's new influence may well be in evidence on Thursday when the Duchess of Sussex will join the Queen to officially open the new Mersey Gateway Bridge in Cheshire. My royal moles also tell me two British princesses are about to descend on a visa for a hen party like no other. I hear Princess Beatrice has enlisted the services of a swanky villa company to find the ultimate party palace on the island so her sister Eugenie can enjoy one last blowout before marrying Jack Brooks Pink in October. Eugenie, 28, developed a love of raving, posh raving, while at Newcastle University. Let's hope she's still got it, quote, unquote. I wanted to own a football club until I realized that nearly all of them went bankrupt or lost their money. XPM Gordon Brown reveals a surprising passion. Sounds to me as if he'd be ideally qualified for the job. I'm formulating some house rules with my mum. She's started doing my washing and treating me like I'm 10. Rupert Everett's moving back in with his 83-year-old mum to help her out if he can stop her trying to help him. I'm careful what I wear under my trousers when Patty McGuinness is around, he always tries to pull them down. That's as sophisticated as his jokes get. Ouch. Billion star Damien Lewis gives a devastating critique on his pal's humor. I've tried to set Susanna Reed up on dates with my friends but she's too fussy, especially as they're all from Essex. Ben Shepard admits that attempts to matchmake for for his Good Morning Britain co-host have flopped.